Hey you guys, this is Robert at the Madison County Public Library. We're doing another STEM Lab activity this week. Uh, so two weeks ago, we did the battery ballerinas, which involved taking a battery on a magnet and having a piece of copper wire spin on it. Since then, I've had a couple of questions about what kind of magnet is that? Well, that is what this project is all about. So right here, we have a neodymium magnet, which is a super strong magnet, originally uh, used to manufacture cars, uh, but now has evolved into computer hard drives. Uh, if I had it, I would do jewelry making uh, and some like power tools, things like that, uh, now have neodymium magnets in it. Uh, to show you a better view of what the actual magnet is, because right here is the magnet for this hard drive. Luckily, we pulled another hard drive apart, and these are what the magnets look like. They're very strong, very powerful. Uh, ow! So you can see that I uh, leave them too go too far apart and try to snap them together. They will hurt. They're actually kind of hard to take apart once you have them on there. So, oh, there we go. So there is your neodymium magnets. Oh, not yours. These are hard drives. These are yours. So I guess we'll get into the construction of it. So in your kit, in this little paper baggie, you should have, oh, there's a battery on the other side. That's why they didn't want to come out. You should have a little toy car, popsicle stick, and two neodymium magnets, one on each side. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull them off and keep them separate. And we also should have four pieces of double-sided foam tape. So we're on, so two of these is we can put to the side because we're not going to need them unless uh, a need arises, like if we accidentally put it on the wrong spot. But essentially, what we're going to do is we're going to take the car and make sure it rolls. So we got we always got to make sure it rolls before we do anything. So next, we're going to take one piece of this foam tape and unstick it from the paper. And then we're going to take it, stick it to the back side of the car. Sorry if it keeps on focusing. Then we're going to take the other side and unstick it. This is what we got to pay attention because you got to remember that magnets have a north and south pole on them. So what, one side will stick to the other. Ooh, I'll put that not in the middle. I'm going to carefully take that off and go straight onto the middle as best we can. So, so far we are done with the assembly of the car. Next, we're going to take our popsicle stick. We're going to stick one side of the double-sided foam tape to it. And before we attach this magnet to here, we're going to take the car. And we're going to try to find out what side is going to stick and what side is going to repel. So as you can see that this side stuck. So we're going to want to flip our magnet and make sure that the no the part that's stuck this side is the one that goes on the double-sided foam tape because otherwise you're just gonna have a car that sticks to your popsicle stick and it's not gonna be very fun so once we have that we're gonna then go and you can start playing with it but because the side repels it makes it look like the car is driving without a need for. Oh, I made it stick. And that's because the edges do, if you put them close enough, they will stick because it's trying to stick to the other side. But, but going back to the original thing, um, so if you put it close enough, it will start repelling and forcing the car to go forward. Oh, stuck it to the side again. So, but you can also do the same thing, and I'll show you what I meant if you messed up, or if I messed up in this case. So, if I messed up earlier and made sure that the 
side that stuck to the other magnet just kind of was there. We, oh, now we have a car that's stuck to a popsicle stick. That's not very fun unless you enjoy just moving it little bits. So, it's the one thing that you want to do. So, I think. It, oh, whoops, stuck it. So, we're going to. Whee! We're going to take that car off the screen. Because if you have got a magnet at home, just a regular fridge magnet. Uh, I've got this little Minions one. He's holding a little banana. Uh, we're going to see if it does the same thing. Nope, stuck. So, and that just might be because, nope, it's stuck again. And I think it's just because there's a little piece of metal right there where the magnet wants to stick to the metal rather than the magnet. But if you at home have a magnet on your fridge, you can see if you can move it or if it sticks by just moving it and pushing it back and forth. So, I know you guys won't be able to, some of you probably are guessing, what happens if I put the, one, the magnets from the hard drive next to it? So we'll see. Oh, that side stuck really well. Oh, that side stuck too. I wonder why. I'll try flipping it. The magnet stole my magnet. So, well, while I have this magnet on, the cool thing about this awesome little project is, is where we've got this extra double-sided foam tape. We can remove it and stick it to the front. Attach the battery to the front. Well, without trying to remove the tape from the car, I'm just gonna curl it like that. So I'm gonna grab my popsicle stick magnet, try to figure out which pole that I'm sticking it to. So I want to make sure that I stick it on the opposite, so I can make the car back up if I need to, or apparently stick to it. There's that. I wonder. Oh, and if you flip your popsicle stick around, it's going to try to magnetically pull from the other side of the magnet. So you can potentially just run off with your car that way. Or just push your car back. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed your magnetic toy cars and I definitely want to see them so if you can in the comment section below uh, share a picture of your car with a magnet on it and how far you think you can get it to go I stole my magnet have a good night thank you guys